Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Marcelo Martins, and this is Andrews Academy Silhouettes. Uh, we are really happy to be here this afternoon, and this is our very, very last concert in our tour. So we, we have been. We, we, we have been a very great time down, down here in Florida. Uh, we are not missing the cold weather at all. You know, this week in Michigan, in Barron Springs, was 40s, sometimes, you know, 30s. So the kids are having a great time. They don't want to come back anymore. They want to stay here forever. It's a lovely place, and we are really having a great time. And I'd like to say one more time, thank you for being here, thank you for um, having us, right, and open your church for us. So we have two ensembles here. We have the select choir, Silhouettes, and right after choir, we will have Orion Strings. And um, Miss Dr. Gallardo, she will uh, talk a little bit about strings for you. So I like to start uh, with a word of prayer. I like to invite you to stand and Let's have a word of prayer. Dear God, uh, we are so blessed and we are so grateful because 
we had and we're having this amazing opportunity to come down here to Florida and share our music share um, the message of salvation, the message of your grace and your love with our beloved uh, brothers and sisters. So thank you for this church, for opening um, uh, the doors to us, to being so welcoming. And we really pray that we'll have a great time this morning, uh, oh, this afternoon. And I pray that we'll be blessed by the messages, by the pieces they are going to perform and they are going to listen today. Be with us, in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Yes. Good. So we will start uh, today with two pieces, actually two arrangements of hymns. The first one is all creatures of our God and King. Probably you know, you're very familiar with this one. And the second one is Jesus paid it all. I hope you'll be blessed by these uh, beautiful words.
have your attention, please. There has been a fire reported in the building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Is going on? Stop with a stop. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There is an iron reported in the building. Please. The eyes of the room still. You know, we open the other door and set off the
piece is called Come to Me. You probably know the verse. And we have Lucas Navia playing the solo, the cello solo. And I'd like to uh, acknowledge um, Ben Lenster, our yeah. pianist.
finish our part two of uh, songs. The first one is a beautiful prayer, precious Lord, take my hand. And the second one, lift every voice and sing. Both uh, songs speaking a little bit about suffering, about Jesus taking us by the hand and helping us to make it through. And yeah, precious Lord, take my hand.
ask the choir to step down and we will have a short interval, right? Just to set up a little bit the strings and in a few minutes, you don't need to go, but in a few minutes we have the strings, the right strings. Thank you. First row. Inspiring. Amen. Beautiful. We want to thank so much the silhouettes. Uh, and we want, at this time, just as a sign of appreciation, we'd like to take up an offering which will help to cover and defray some of the expenses, uh, if you don't mind, while, while we're in this transition time. Thank you, deacons. Okay. Hi.
beauty, order, and also hopefully remind you guys of God, of his love, and his care at this time. We're going to start our portion of the program with um, this uh, hymn. It is well. I hit it over there. Yeah, I think it would be nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for people. Thank you. So we're going to start with It Is Well. And this is a very well-known hymn. Um, and I think it's very timely at this uh, time uh, where we're living in the world. I'm sure you know this story already. Uh, but in case you don't, it, in a very, very brief um, fashion, I'll, I will say uh, it is about a family, a Horatio Spafford, who sent his family ahead um, to England. But um, only the wife survived. All her girls were lost and, and drowned in the sea. And this is the origin of this hymn. Um, and I want you guys to think especially of the last verse um, that talks that when the trumpet shall sound, right? Um, we will be um, together, we'll, we'll be able to go to heaven and meet our loved ones that perhaps we've missed or we're lost um, to disease, to COVID, to anything. And at the end, uh, all is going to be well.
this second hymn is titled Come Christians Join to Sing. Um, for many years um, I've heard, uh, 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 I don't know if it's a story or a saying that says that Christians are the only people in the world that have reason to sing. Isn't that something? I think it's, it's true. I've been um, uh, watching different uh, short clips um, everywhere on the internet and uh, about Ukrainians, just regular families, singing, 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 as, uh, praising God, even in the midst of this terrible uh, catastrophe happening at the moment and this war and the killing of innocent people, and they are singing. Why? Why? How can that be? Right? How can that be? But Christians really do have a reason to sing because in spite of everything that happens now and then we cannot understand it, we don't find an answer at the moment. Many, many times we may wonder where is God hiding or what's happening. But I think if we just think about it and trust, even if we cannot see, uh, we, we know that um, in the end we'll, we'll receive some answers, even if this sounds very cliche and, you know. But I think um, that there is a reason why Christians sing. That's the reason we see so many people uh, in this uh, situation and they are still praising God. How can they do that? I don't know. We're here in peace. We have no problems really uh, compared to them, right? And they are still singing praises to God. So I hope yeah, that you can Keep these thoughts in mind as we play uh, Come Christians, Join to Sing.
All right, the next two pieces that we're playing for you. Um, one of them is composed by a Jewish composer by the name of Ernest Bloch, and it's called Concerto Grosso. So it's a very generic uh, title for a piece. Um, when we have a piano obligato, which means that it is a part that is essential to the piece, and we cannot do without him. So uh, at the piano, we have Nate Miller, and um, yeah. The second piece is a piece that perhaps you know very well, the, um, uh, the Holberg Suite. There's the first movement uh, of Holberg Suite, uh, suite by uh, Green, the, the Allegro, the prelude, Allegro Rimaccio.
we're going to um, play. Um, they're actually without a conductor. So um, we have uh, really, uh, what is the word? These guys are go-getters, you know? And um, yeah, uh, we've been uh, exploring the idea of um, playing pieces um, uh, without the conductor, like, I don't know if you know Orpheus Chamber Orchestra, they always play without a conductor. And um, so we're, we're trying that, and they have just taken it loved it and gone beyond and etc. So we have two pieces from Antonio Vivaldi. This is an Italian composer um, that worked uh, with young people in an uh, orphanage called La Pietà in Venice. And um, so I imagine some of his music may have been played by people this age uh, back in the day in the 1600s. Um, so um, we're going to have um, the first uh, of the Vivaldi uh, is a concerto um, opus 3, number 11 in D minor. Uh, we have Claire Young and Alexander Aguilera, and then we also have the uh, Lucas Navia with the bass. So let's hear that.
this step, the turtle, uh, is instead of two violins, it's for four violins. So we are featuring our seniors. Um, yeah, this year uh, we have Claire again, and Nicolas Feliciano, Alexander Aguilar, Elena Wise, and, uh, and Lucas as well, with the continuum. Um, so guys, you could bring your stands down here. Uh, we have some extras there. Are you doing that the <laughs> See, I told you. Those guys. Go get it, right? Perfect.
I know that uh, you'd love an encore, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, we have, a, we have a little bit of a challenge. We do have a program starting at 7 here uh, this evening, but we're going, to, uh, we're going to push the limits a little tiny bit. Would you like to hear one more short piece? Do you have something for us? <laughs> we can maybe... Uh, let's, let's do the finale for the photo praise one more time. So I think... It's, right? Yeah, Is that perfect. Right? Yeah? Perfect. So yes. From Greece, uh, All right. <laughs> We just want to hear one, just one last memory <laughs> so we can keep with us all night and for the next year. The G flat major. 73, this is the first Amen, the first section of the Amen. Okay, uh, from the town. One, two, and one. This is just a foretaste of the amazing gathering of voices and instruments and praise and honor and glory to God. Thank you, young people. You really have blessed our hearts, truly. And uh, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. With good leadership. With, you know, uh, what would these kids be doing if they didn't have good leaders to direct them and guide them? You know, amen. That's heart touch. How much they love their directors. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That is awesome. You're doing God's work yeah. with these beautiful young people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm sure they have their moments. We won't talk about those. <laughs> we're because we're human beings on planet Earth and we just love each other and we get along great. And, uh, you know, that's, that's awesome. So, Miss Elise uh, Gall Gallardo uh, Diaz and also Marcelo Martins, we just are in awe of uh, what you have done uh, today in blessing us with these amazing inst uh, the instruments, the voices, and all to God's glory. Yes. So, thank you so much. Uh, once again, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're, we want to thank um, we want to thank our music director here at Umatilla Seventh Day Adventist Church, and um, we uh, really appreciate uh, the fact that um, uh, our sister invited this group to be here. There was a Di David Chen uh, reached out. And uh, Evelyn uh, responded, and uh, you know, you get a little flyer, like this little flyer. Would you ever have imagined we would have such an amazing time here? 
just awesomely amazing. But you know, you look at Little Fire, but you don't realize the, the quality. Yes. The quality of the music. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing. So I'm really glad that we took the plunge and we said yes. <laughs> at least we were going to feed them some nice dinner. But, oh, we, yeah. but you're all invited. And uh, so what we need to do first simply is uh, as we're going to ask the folks, either you can stay here or stretch your legs outside, we're not going to go into the dining uh, facility until uh, the young people are all ready. And so put your instruments away, clear that one room because we're going to use that for eating as well. We have other classrooms down the way for eating as well because we're going to run out of space if we don't use the other locations, but we'll have that room. Young people includes directors and... Uh, of, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Always, always. Uh, so we're, we're really excited. So I think, um, why don't we do this? Why don't we have a, have a blessing on the food now? And it'll be a little delay to you actually sitting down and eating. Uh, we want, and then we're going to thank the folks inside in a few minutes. But we want to have a special prayer for you folks for uh, the remainder of your time here and a safe journey home. And a continued uh, that you will be blessing people uh, everywhere you go with the love of Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're thankful today for this amazing experience to, <coughs> to have the uh, choir and the strings uh, with us from Andrews, uh, Andrews Academy. Lord, bless, their, bless the directors and leaders here. Bless all the chaperones and parents and family. But most of all, Lord, we ask your special blessing upon these students. Each one is uh, gifted in their various different areas. And Lord, uh, we know that uh, they're doing this work for you. They're honoring and glorifying you. And we look forward to one day be all together in your kingdom where we can, even I will be able to sing. And uh, maybe I'll play an instrument too. But Lord, you will teach me uh, here, prepare me and all of us for that eternal kingdom. We look forward to lifting up our voices there. But in the meantime, Lord, keep us faithful until that day. Please put your hand upon this, the, these young people, uh, the directors, everyone here. Uh, put your hand upon them. Get them home safely. And may they continue to use their gifts and talents for your honor and glory. Thank you for everyone that has been able to enjoy this, uh, this evening. And those that have been able to watch at home, may we all be drawn closer to you every day until you come in the clouds of glory, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Lord, ask your blessing upon the food in the hands that have prepared it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so these young people